Hey everyone, uh, in this lesson I'd like to talk about a very basic uh, point transformation effect uh, or blending or morphing, uh, uh, I would say. So uh, it's very simple, but yet uh, it can be quite handy in some scenarios. Uh, and um, uh, it's so based and uh, it doesn't take any any time and it's very really fast but uh, also um, you can actually enhance it and get some uh, some some very interesting r results so uh, in in my scenario I use this method uh, to to build this uh, big city where a camera moves forward and uh, buildings uh, grow okay um, so uh, it was a very low resolution geometry uh, so uh, I didn't have any any time to kind of clean the topology or do something else but uh, because of very tight deadline we need to kind of uh, show some result to a, to a client so so that was the the, the decision uh, and I think uh, you might want uh, you might want to say like you can do it in, in After Effects, which uh, also true. But um, uh, we try to do this uh, in After Effects, but it, it it really gets slow where you have a lot of buildings and this uh, the parallax where the camera moves. Uh, especially knowing that After Effects has uh, kind of a different uh, origins uh, in 3D space uh, um, yeah so you can do it by layers but uh, again it takes you kind of a lot of time just to have this effect and then uh, uh, render it out and then uh, do another one and so on and then just to put them in the right position uh, while having your uh, animated camera I think uh, it it wasn't a, it wasn't a good direction to to move on so uh, another way uh, we tried to do like to export this uh, point data uh, animated data like a sequence and uh, simply apply it to uh, a particular or uh, some other the, the particles that after effects uh, those trap code uh, uh, it was a, I think it was a particular or form uh, if I'm if I'm correct so um, it couldn't handle a lot, uh, a lot of points so it was crashing uh, and at the same time uh, we had uh, quite good machines which had like 200 gig of RAMs and it was uh, 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 Xeon machines which was quite powerful and still after effects couldn't manage the amount of points so the the the, the solution was simply to, to render out uh, in uh, Houdini's OpenGL and uh, just add some filters to get some um, interesting result so uh, for the speed uh, result I think it was good and on a big screen it looked also uh, fine so um, so the the task was done and everybody was happy so that that was a goal so uh, back to the to the effect itself just uh, quite simple and so here we have our two geometries and uh, uh, here we're scattering some points um, so we have uh, the same amount of points which is handy in this case um, to have uh, equal amount of points 
and sorting also to uh, get blend okay and here I'm using this um, uh, noise wrap which gives me this type of uh, transition from from uh, black to white okay and here I'm using to create some distortion okay so uh, I'm using the noise to add some distortion and then uh, having that color here I'm using this color here's the second input and I'm using mix with that color uh, as a mixer this way we have the kind of transition okay then a little tweak like time shift uh, and another gradient okay the same from dark to bright and this way uh, this time we're using it this gradient as a transition okay and this way you can you can blend not only the position but also uh, here I'm using a ramp just to ease and, uh, and out uh, the color transition okay so here we have a color transition and a position transition uh, here I'm uh, playing with the gradient simply to have a different type of uh, a different timing let's say if I simply use the basic one it will work uh, equally but by playing with the gradient I can do a little bit shifting of the transition okay so as you see it's it's fast it's fast it's uh, very simple um, and and it's also in, I think I think it's interesting fact it's very very simple but yet useful okay so you can uh, you can add some particles to it uh, just to enhance uh, this one and just uh, add some um, pyro on top of uh, this one this way you can get much complex results okay but um, simply as a fast result I I did only that okay and uh, this one was uh, a soft paste and here I'm using uh, the same technique but uh, in this case I'm using the, the particles so uh, here I'm adding so the first geometry here I'm adding this one this uh, the, the same the same uh, process proce process uh, so here I'm adding noise and then I'm adding an attribute promote I'm promoting my colors to vectors uh, to vertices sorry and here I'm using the polyframe where I'm using this CD attribute and I'm uh, uh, using the the V the velocity as a tangent name this way um, uh, here I'm uh, promoting my uh, uh, velocity to the points And now um, having that um, color, which actually adds this uh, velocity attribute by using the color and the polyframe. This way, I'm um, um, creating uh, the velocity attribute. Okay, then I'm adding a normals. Which I would like to use and then uh, here I'm using the cross product of my velocity and normals and then uh, 
just uh, just multiplying uh, to to exaggerate the the velocity okay and also just for uh, visualization and adding it to normals okay so uh, next uh, I'm using a particle system here I have my particles and uh, as we have already uh, created our velocity our particles Uh, particles have uh, have that velocity and it uses it so what we'd like to do we'd like to keep our particles on top of the geometry but still have some uh, movement um, so uh, So here I'm using my first context geometry, which is the pig head, since I'm using the surface uh, or uh, points of the geometry as uh, emitters. And uh, here I'm using uh, the point cloud open and this velocity, which I'm multiplying by a very low value. And this way, uh, I'm adding velocity to my particles since that velocity that we created is being applied only uh, in the beginning but I would like to keep it during the whole uh, time range okay so this way uh, we're having our particles move in a, in a direction uh, that we had created the velocity in the other direction okay and uh, then we would like to stick our particles onto the geometry where we use the min pose uh, function so this way we're using like the first geometry like the first in uh, the second input and the position of second input and the, to use the to apply to a current position of particle this way it sticks onto the surface so the same procedure is uh, applied here so next goes the same which we uh, we have done here so the sorting the adding this noise uh, having this gradient ramp gradient being animated okay and our noises I have the noise and here's the transition the second input position the first input position the mix with the color uh, that we have created here the gradient which is mixer okay and this way we have kind of transition if I simply turn the sound so a pig head which is distorted again some tweaks and another gradient so this gradient will will use just to uh, get the position of our second geometry our goal geometry okay so here we distorting and morphing it back and again uh, i'm using it also to uh, to blend my colors Uh, 
let's cache. So as you see, uh, very, very simple to implement the kind of effect and very uh, handy. Uh, a lot of possibilities uh, to uh, to kind of to use this effect and uh, to get really nice results. And yeah, so and then you can add some geometry, create some interesting visuals. Okay, so yeah, this is all I'd like to share with you in this lesson. Hope you like it. If it was useful, please subscribe and I'll see you in the future lessons. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.